Question number four on trigonometric ratios and angles. If cosine alpha equals to three over five, where alpha is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 360 degrees, what possible quadrants can terminal arm be in? Part B of the question is, find all possible values of principal angle to 10th place. Now you can pause the video, try to solve the question and then look into my suggestions. Now here we are given cosine alpha equals 3 over 5. So what is cosine alpha? Cos of alpha is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, right? And that is given to us is 3 over 5. And if we want that, it is positive. And if we want that to be positive, it means what? Now 3 over 5 we know in any particular triangle in the coordinate system, when we are talking about position, then 3 over 5, 3 is the adjacent side. That means the x value, correct? So if we have a coordinate, which is x, y, let us say we take a point here, and the point is x, y. Then if you make a triangle in this case, then 3 over 5 basically will be 3 is the x value and 5 is the hypotenuse which is always positive right now the y value is 5 square minus 3 square square root right so y value will be 5 square minus 3 square square root which will be 25 minus 9 16 square root of 16 will be 4 so we have a triangle with 3 4 5 as the sides now the coordinate therefore will be 3 and 4, correct? So we can write x and y value as 3 and 4. Now to get cosine value as positive, we should have a positive value of x, right? So now positive value of x is only possible in two quadrants. So it could be either in quadrant 1 or in quadrant 4, correct? Since x is positive along in these two quadrants, right? Hypotenuse is always considered positive. So there are two possible situations. That is one way of explaining this. The second way is using the cost rule. The cost rule is like this, right? So we have all are positive in quadrant 1, sine in quadrant 2, tan in quadrant 3, but cosine is positive in quadrant 4. So cosine is positive in quadrant 1 and 4. So therefore, in this particular case, we are given cosine alpha is 3 over 5, which is a positive value. What possible coordinates can terminal arm be in? So terminal arm can be in two places, right? Which is, let's draw those two cases. So in this, I'll draw the first one, and then here, we'll draw the second one, correct? Now, first is all are positive in quadrant 1, correct? Now, cosine to be positive, x has to be positive. That is the key thing. So, that is quadrant 4. So, these are the two possible quadrants. We say quadrant 1 and quadrant 4 is our answer, right? So, we get this as 1 and 4. Now, the second one is find all possible values of principal angle. So, to find the possible angles, let's first find the angle, right? So, how to find the angle? If you know cos alpha is equal to 3 over 5, then alpha is equal to cos inverse of 3 over 5, correct? So we can use the calculator and calculate this. So we get cos inverse, second function, cos inverse, over in brackets, 3 divided by 5, bracket close, equals to 53.13 degrees, right? So the related acute angle is 53.13 degrees, which will round to 10th place. That means 53.1 degree. So that is the value of alpha. So now we know that the angle alpha for cos to be 3 over 5 is 53.1 degrees. Now, so that means this angle is 53.1 degrees. That is what we know now, right? 
Now, the part 2 is find all possible values of principal angle to 10th place. So here, principal angle theta p is equals to 53.1, same as related acute angle. And in this case, it is this much, correct? That is 360 minus 53.1. So theta p in this case is equals to 360 degrees minus 53.1 degrees, right? Which is equal to, you can again use calculator, figure this out, 360 minus 53.1 gives us 306.9. So we get 306.9 degrees, right? So that is how we can get the principal angle in the given situation. I hope you understand the solution for this question, right? So the idea is when we see cosine as a positive value, we can use the cost rule and we know immediately that cosine is positive in quadrant 1 and 4. So that is the answer for the first question. And for second question, we need to find cos inverse to get the angle. So we find the related acute angle first, which is 53.1, right? So that's the related acute angle. Once you know related acute angle, then in both the cases, we can find the principal angle. Principal angle is the angle which is from positive x-axis counterclockwise to the terminal arm. And once you get that, you can write down the answer, round it to 10th place as asked in the question. Okay, thank you.